Yeah, good morning, guys. And look, residents here have already gone through so much. And while they're going through the process of getting their lives back together, getting repairs started, now they have growing concern that thieves will come into their house and steal all of that equipment and supplies that they're using to get construction started. Take a listen. We've been broken into twice already. It's not right. You know, you kind of think, you know, what kind of person would do something like that to, you know, somebody who's already going through so much. And so that's Anna Ramirez. Uh, she's a resident here. She and her family have five feet of water or excuse me. She and her family had five feet of water flood their home in Shelltown. She and her sister are doing many of the repairs themselves. Their home has been broken into twice. Uh, she says the thieves stole expensive tools and blowers being used to dry up the water. Now people living on Birch Street near Southcrest Trails Park are also concerned. Residents tell us that before with the park, there used to be a lot of people gathering there and now they believe uh, thieves know the house Houses are empty, so they're breaking into their houses. We reached out to San Diego Police Department to see what's been done so far. San Diego Police Southeastern Division says they've responded to some burglaries in the flooded areas. The investig investigators are being conducted by Southeastern detectives. Now, officers will continue to give extra patrol to this area and have done so since the floods occurred. So back out here, uh, they're asking the public to be alert and to Please report any crimes or suspicious activity that they might see here in this area as they continue to do their job and stay vigilant here on 42nd Street and any other um, place that have, are still going through the struggles and devastation from the January 22nd floods. For now, that's the latest here in the southeastern San Diego. Eric and Carrie Elson, thanks back to you guys.